Hey everybody. So I've been putting in a few extra hours with my aesthetics business in order to fund some more fun little haul videos because yeah, I'm having a really bad time with the being up late with a baby and shopping. <laughs> so forgive my voice if it sounds weird. I'm also fighting off getting sick and really hoping that I don't. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, yeah, all that scraps got in so many new goodies and I just, I couldn't help myself. It was so cute. So I went and bought a bunch of washi tapes and these are just some of them. These are the Halloween ones I got, which again, I've talked about these. I don't, I need to start using them. They're so, but they're so cute. But I got all these little, these are all doodle bug washi tapes that go, well, they're all Halloween themed and they all, I think are kind of meant to go with their little um, Halloween parade papers, which I actually just used in a recent Halloween video. Yeah, really cute. So much fun. And then I can't, I threw in a thing of the Bumblebee um, adhesive pearls. I love all the little embellishments, so I'm always tossing extras into the cart for those. And then I got, oh, I got the Star Jewels, which are in the Halloween assortment. Super fun. And then just another thing of the Lilac Mini Pearls. And then I got, it's all kind of going to be random here. Oh, I got this. This is Glitz pattern paper. I've never used their stuff before, but they had this package called Raven. So I thought that would be a fun Halloween one to add to my stash. And it looks kind of really different patterns in this. They're double sided, so that's kind of cool. That's actually really cute. That's fun. So, yeah, totally different. That's cute too. Love that one. So yeah, really different patterns. A whole new to me sort of a line. So yeah, I'd never heard of them before. So that's that. And then, um, how did I get? I went again completely nuts on the pattern paper because I've got problems. Uh, Cause yeah, I've got issues. <laughs> so then I got a second Halloween pack, um, the Authentic uh, Thrilling Collection. So got that one. It's a very true to the Authentic style. And I just noticed, I wonder if they make, or if they're made by Glitz, I just noticed they also have this extra strip in a different pattern. So that's kind of fun. Let's see, how fun stuff. Ooh, that's really cute. That one's not, that, that reminds me more of the Graphic 45 style. So, really cute stuff. So that was that one. It. And then I got, oh my goodness. Um, oh, here's another Halloween one. I'm still on Halloween kick. I haven't met my quota yet. Um, the K and Company. Uh, K and Company, just a Halloween six by six specialty pad. And it's glittery. Oh, can you see? Yeah, I think you can see the glitter. Really different. And of course, these are just single sided. Kind of subtle colors. And solid ones. So yeah, just kind of a small pack. There's only 14 sheets in this pack, but kind of fun. And then all the other pattern paper packs I got are, well, this one is the basic gray persimmon. I think, is that how you say it? Persimmon? I don't know. Sorry, I'm just so tired right now. <laughs> um, got that one. It's more fall and kind of the Aztec style, which is super, super popular right now in clothing and in paper crafting. So, really pretty. 
haven't really bought much basic gray for a long time now. There's just been so many other companies on the scene, but this one caught my eye and I thought it'd be kind of kind of nice for fall cards. And then I got the authentic, this is the irresistible um, collection. And yeah, just basically black and white. And I was actually thinking ahead to like Valentine's Day and different things. Um, yeah. So, kind of different. I don't know. I don't, I can forget now what my thinking was when I bought this. But it is, I like their papers regardless. So, yeah, they're just more basics. So, that was that one. And then we're getting into the Christmas stuff. So this is the basic gray 25th and pine, which is also very nice. So Christmas trees and holly and little kind of tag things and stripes, candy cane stripes and yeah, really cute stuff. Kind of vintagey looking, but basic gray usually is. That's really pretty. Some ornaments. So that one's really fun. I mean, I got some matching, I think, embellishments, but that's just in the box. I'll get to that in a minute. And then, of course, I had to get the Doodlebug Design Home for the Holidays. So this one will be huge. And, of course, it is totally my style. So that, I think, was the first thing to jump in my cart. I had to get this before it sells out everywhere. So, yeah. Fun, cute, really cute stuff. A oh, little reindeer. Adorable, absolutely adorable. Yeah, I love a doodle bug, totally. So I'm really excited about this. I think it's gonna be so much fun. Little Santa Claus, oh, it's so adorable, I love it. So yeah, got that. And then of course, I got a bunch of their little washi tapes that go with that collection. So Merry Christmas, this one's got like little gumdrops. Um, the striped one. What else did I get? Oh, of course, I got the jewels. Got those. And then these little sprinkles, which are really cool. I wasn't sure what they would look like. It was hard to tell online, but they're just little like enamel self-adhesive dots. Those are really cute. And then um, I got a couple random washi tape. These ones are by Bella Boulevard. So I got just a like a navy dot, a chevron, and like an aqua dot. Yeah, for someone who never uses washi tape, I have quite the collection now. Oy. Yeah. Oh, and then I got the 25th and Pine, the basic gray, like their brat assortments. So, really cute. I'm kind of liking that they've done them in different packaging now, rather than it used to be like a whole package of um, fabric cover brads or a whole package of the enamel brads, etc., etc. I actually like this better because I find I never, ever used up a package of the other one. So I like that you kind of get a assortment with that. That's really cute. Yeah, I really like that. Um, and then I got this Stampendous Shaved Ice. It was, again, hard to tell what it was going to look like on um, the website. So I just ordered on a whim because it was pretty cheap. And yeah, it's just really, really chunky like Mylar glitter, which I'm pretty sure I have a large container of that by Martha Stewart, I'm not sure. But it's really cute though, it's really pretty. It'll be fun for holiday cards and whatnot. And then I also got this package of, this is the Stampendous Trick or Treat Fragments. So I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to use them this year, but I have an idea in the back of my head. It's more just finding the time, something to do with the shaker card, but we'll see. Oh, I feel like I'm just running out of time. We're getting close to the end of September here, so. But yeah, that's like really cool. So yeah, they're just little like fragments. So really neat. So I got that. And then last but not least, um, I picked up a couple packages of the Ranger Mini Misters. Um, I had done a review on actually the Ranger's Pearl um, sprays. Those guys, the Perfect Pearl Mists. And the funny thing was, is this was already on, these were, this whole order was on its way here and I had so many people telling me like, oh, how to make your own mist, well, yeah, way ahead of you guys. <laughs> 
That's why I ordered these was so I can make my own pearly spray fun color mist. So yeah, I got a couple packs of those just so I have some extras on hand to play with. And they're bigger than I thought they were going to be. I don't know, for some reason I thought they were going to be like quite tiny. So they're actually quite large. So that's kind of cool. So I got those. And then lastly, 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 I picked up um, a couple of these embossing folders. They're by Desire. Yeah, Desire. Mm. Um, yeah, they're huge. Like, I got just a polka dot one and then a chevron one and they're quite large so I'm gonna have to even check I don't think these will fit in the cuddle bug but I'm, they better fit in my big shot if they don't I'm not gonna be too happy about that but yeah I thought those would be really cool and I do actually like that they're bigger because then you can do square cards and whatnot with them so that is it for my haul um, as always I will post a link below to my blog post and then I'll post links to everything and yeah, I will see you guys next time.